Man, long but wonderful day here at Dealer Camp. We're nearing the end, but we had to stop by Haro Bikes, Mozzie Bikes, and say hello to James Ayers, an old neighbor of mine in Vista, California. How are you, man? Doing great. How about yourself? Uh, I'm tired, but I'm ebullient. Yes! Yes! So we have to start off, because I'm a roadie, you guys have Mozzie Bikes in your booth. Let's take a look and tell us about how Mozzie came to be part of the Haro family. All right, well, it's, uh, it's actually a really great story. Um, you know, the brand was founded in, in Italy, uh, World War II days. So we have kind of that rich Italian heritage that brands like DeRosa and Bianchi and Colnago have. The brand uh, came over to, the, to um, the States in the late 70s, early 80s, and uh, it was actually brought over by uh, Faliero Mazzi's son, Alberto, who brought with him a guy by the name of Mario Confenti, who, if you know anything about American frame building, happens to be kind of one of the who's who guys on the uh, uh, greatest American frame builders list. They were building steel frames in Carlsbad, California throughout you know, the latter part of the 70s, early 80s. Uh, brand kind of went dormant for a little while in the, uh, in the 90s, and and that coincidentally was when Haro Bikes happened to be looking for a, a road line with the explosion of the road bike market. So, you know, we kind of thought to ourselves, you know, do we want to try to launch a road line under the Haro brand or do we want to try to resurrect, you know, a, a brand that is just so rich in, in, in passion and heritage? And it was a pretty easy uh, uh, decision for us to, to make. Um, we bought Mozzie, we bought the, uh, the name and the trademark and all the rights to it uh, in the early 2000s and uh, it's been ours ever since. Beautiful bikes. Talk a little bit about the design features here. Well, I'll tell you, um, this is uh, our Evoluzione, if you're going to pronounce it correctly. Evoluzione. Evoluzione, exactly. This is a, a model that we launched in 2011, and it's been, it's been amazing for us. Uh, really what makes this bike special is it's kind of a package deal. We, we call it um, our total overdrive system, and basically what that is is it's a, uh, it's a marriage of the... If I can do this without hurting myself. Don't do it. What it is, it's a marriage of the oversized uh, head tube married to the oversized bottom bracket married to these gigantic chain stays down here. So basically what that means is the bottom half of the bike is going to be really, really stiff. So every watt that you're putting into the pedal is going to go straight to the back wheel. Well, it's great to have a stiff bike, right? But you want something that's going to be compliant as well. You don't want your teeth rattling out of your head while you're out, you know, doing a 60 or 80 mile ride. No question. So kind of what we did on the Evo is we shaped these seat stays so that they had a little bit of compliance built into them. See how they, you know, kind of go from round to flat? Basically what that allows is the back end to kind of have a little bit of give to it. So while on the bottom part of the bike it's, it's stiff as can possibly be, as you gravitate up, you get a little bit of those, th those compliance features in there. So every watt of power into the pedal, straight to the back wheel, yet nothing that's going to rattle the teeth out of your head. Kind of a, uh, a, a little mini, micro mini suspension as it were? Absolutely, absolutely. And that's, you know, perfect for guys that are doing stage races or crit races or, you know, basically that anybody that's just competitive. Well, and going on that competitive thing, let's face it, not everybody's going to be out there with a, with a pro license. So we kind of thought to ourselves, okay, 2013, how do we switch up the game? New for, uh, for us this year is going to be that Premiare series over there. So going from the Evo to the Premiare, what you're basically doing here is you're getting into a bike that was designed for guys that are doing, uh, you know, your Grand Fondo type rides. This is the guy that's going to be, you know, doing your MS 150s. He's the weekend warrior that, that's out there. He wants to look like this guy over here, but he doesn't want the super aggressive positioning. Sure. So what the Premiari really brings to the table is a little bit taller head tube, a little bit shorter top tube, and an overall longer wheelbase. So basically what you get is a ride that, you know, whether you're doing 100, 120, 140 miles a day, it, it's, it's the Cadillac of bicycles. Super nice upright riding position so you're not blowing your back out. And uh, the beautiful thing about it is, just like the Evo series, super stiff bottom bracket. So again, every watt of power is going to go straight to that back wheel. Gorgeous design. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we got to pay the bills, so we better move over to Haro Bikes, huh? We better move over to Haro Bikes. All right. So, whoops. So this year, you know, what's really new for us this year is this carbon platform. Um, 2012, we had a, a great line of aluminum bikes, but we, we, we knew we were kind of missing something in the, in the upper end. So we came to the table with our very first hardtail carbon bike. 
the great thing about this is we're going to do three of them. There's going to be one in a $1,900 price range, uh, one that's going to bump up probably another 200 bucks or so called the Flightline Carbon Expert. And then we're going to do a super flagship model that's called the Flightline Carbon Pro, which should retail anywhere between 3200 3400 bucks. And that's well within the range of, of what people are paying for mountain bikes these days, especially for carbon. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that, that's going to be a that's going to be a new thing for us for 13. We've never really done a carbon platform up in the uh, up in the upper end, but uh, we really think that you know having some eye candy is a pretty important thing. So that's as close to bike porn as I can possibly come up with. People definitely buy bicycles with their eyes as well as with their pedals. I, I, I say it all the time. If you can yeah, create that emotional connection, it's a sale right out the door. So hello, Mozzie. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. All right, we paid the bills now. I think the coolest thing going on two wheels is cyclocross. I noticed you got some beautiful cyclocross machines here. Tell us a little bit about what you're giving us for 2013. Cyclocross is definitely a category that we're super interested in. There was a great race out here yesterday. I had a ball cheering for the guys. Um, our Mozzie brand manager, Phil Tinsman, actually raced in the industry race and did pretty well. So cross for us is definitely a category that is, is going to be on the uh, uptick for sure. For 2012, uh, we brought this guy to market. And this basically, you know, was our full aluminum cross bike. Came in at about an $1,800 price point. Um, for 2013, we're actually going to introduce a model right underneath this that should come in right around $1,200 or so. We kind of feel it's really important, you know, for those guys that are kind of on the fence, you know, do I want to race cross? Do I not want to race cross? We've got to be able to give them a super, you know, easy alternative to, to kind of get in there and test the waters. And they can always spend more later on when they totally fall in love with the 40-minute madness of cyclocross. But that being said, you got to get a guy who's already had to talk to the missus for the kitchen pass for the expensive carbon bike for a this one. Absolutely, absolutely. That's, that's the name of the game. You want to make sure that the guy who's coming home with one of the uh, entry-level bikes doesn't have to sleep on the couch for a month. That would not be good. No, would not be good at all. No. Very cool. So, a couple of these. Is this a, uh, a new model for 13 here? No, that's actually what you're seeing is uh, one of our um, 2011 bikes. We've got a couple of guys out here with us that are racing, uh, that, that did the race yesterday. So, a couple of personal machines there. Uh, it, it's real important for us. We feel like, you know, if we're going to be a player in the category, you got to be out there doing it. This just, you can't fake your way through, through any part of this. So, we've got a couple of guys that raced yesterday, and uh, their feedback is always super important to what we're going to do for, really, now we start thinking about 2014, believe it or not. Absolutely. So, uh, who knows where things are going to go? Will you see a carbon cross bike from us in uh, 14? Will we, James? You're just going to have to wait and find out. Oh, uh, I knew that. Sorry, man. Best wishes for success. Thank Keep you very much. Keep both the Haro and the Mozzie names kicking in the industry. Will do. And say hello to San Diego for me. Will do. All right, Thank man. you.